All right, get ready because we're about to take a deep dive into the world of Pinterest affiliate marketing for beginners. We're going to uncover how you can turn your Pinterest passion into a profitable uh, side hustle. You know, it's interesting because unlike traditional social media platforms, Pinterest is kind of like a visual search engine, okay. meaning users are actively searching for ideas, um, inspiration, you know, and a lot of times they're looking for products to purchase. So instead of passively scrolling, they're actively looking for things to buy. Exactly. That's a huge advantage for affiliate marketers. And that's what makes it so powerful. Precisely. Yeah. And that's why choosing the right niche is so crucial. So important. You want to find that sweet spot where your passions kind of align with uh, a market that's actively searching for solutions. That makes so much sense. Yeah. And speaking of finding that sweet spot, our sources offer some great examples. Oh, yeah. Glowithea, for instance, found success in the fashion niche. Mm -hmm. Specifically focusing on women's streetwear and smart money tactics highlights the lucrative potential of the dog health niche. Both excellent examples of uh, tapping into passionate communities with specific needs. And once you've identified your niche, the next step is to find relevant affiliate programs. Yes, absolutely. And there are so many to choose from. So many. ClickBank, Amazon Associates, Impact.com all came up repeatedly in our research. Yeah, those are the big ones. And Zoco Marketing points out that many companies offer their own individual affiliate programs too. It's true. You know, it's like a treasure hunt. Yeah. Finding the programs that best fit your niche. Right. And offer competitive commission rates. Absolutely. Um, speaking of competition. Okay. Let's move to the heart of Pinterest affiliate marketing. Creating captivating content. Ooh, yes. This is where it gets really fun. This is the fun part. And Glow with Gagey offers some fantastic insights. Okay. They've identified a top five list of pin styles that consistently convert, emphasizing the importance of strong visuals. And a clear call to action. Those are key elements. Really important. You want your pins to stop scrollers in their tracks and entice them to click through to your affiliate link. And speaking of creating eye-catching pins. Yes. Smart Money Tactics suggest leveraging the power of AI. Absolutely. AI. Uh -huh. That sounds intriguing. It is. It is. Tell me more. They recommend using tools like... Um, Chat GPT and Canva okay. to streamline the design process. Okay. Canva offers uh, pre made templates that ensure your pins have the right dimensions and visual appeal for Pinterest. Nice. And Chat GPT can help generate uh, catchy descriptions quickly and easily. That's incredibly helpful, especially for those of us who aren't design wizards. It is. It is. And speaking of helpful resources, yeah. Smart Money Tactics also shared a game changing tip for those who don't have a website. Oh. They recommend using Google Sites to build simple landing pages. That's a brilliant strategy. It is. It allows you to capture leads and drive conversions even without a full-blown website. Really maximizing your resources. Exactly. And speaking of accessible resources, there's an incredible free guide that can be super helpful on your affiliate marketing journey. Oh, tell me more. Make sure you visit briangarvin.com that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. It contains over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Okay. The link is in Brian's YouTube bio. Great. So once you've created your compelling pins, the next step is promoting your affiliate links strategically. Yes. And this is where understanding Pinterest's policies and best practices is... Uh, crucial, as Zoco Marketing emphasizes. They make a strong case for transparency when it comes to direct linking versus using websites. Transparency builds trust with your audience. Absolutely. And when it comes to showcasing your affiliate links, yeah. the familiar link in bio comes into play. Right, okay. You see Linktree recommended in several sources. Yeah, yeah. And Smart Money Tactics introduces another option, direct.me. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, it's great to have options. It is. And speaking of options, hmm. Zoco Marketing also touches on some more advanced techniques like uh, product tagging Okay. and building email lists. Okay, so those sound a bit more advanced? A little more advanced, yeah. But it's exciting to know there's room to grow and expand your strategies as you become more experienced. Exactly. It's a journey. It is. And starting with the fundamentals is key, but as you gain confidence, you can layer in those more sophisticated tactics. I'm feeling a lot more confident about diving into Pinterest affiliate marketing after learning about all these tips and strategies. Me too. What about you? 
Absolutely. What's fascinating to me is how Pinterest offers a unique blend of creativity and strategy. I agree. It's not just about pretty pictures. It's about understanding your audience. Yes. Crafting compelling content and promoting your affiliate links effectively. Right. And we've seen from our sources how lucrative this blend can be, especially when you choose the right niche. Speaking of lucrative niches, Smart Money Tactics provides some inspiring real-world examples. Oh, yeah. They highlight the impressive earning potential of the dog health niche, specifically referencing the Ultra Canine Pro product, which offers a whopping 196 commission per sale. That's significant. That is significant. And what's even more impressive is the potential for upsells within that niche. Ooh. Meaning you could earn even more from each customer. Wow. Dog health is definitely sounding appealing right now. It is a good one. But Smart Money Tactics also showcases the power of the weight loss niche with their smoothie diet case study. Okay. They emphasize how recurring revenue from subscription-based products can create a stable and reliable income stream. Those are good. Yeah, recurring revenue is great. It is. It's reliable. Mm, yeah. These examples really demonstrate the diverse potential within Pinterest affiliate marketing. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. No. You can tailor your strategy to your interests right. and leverage the power of recurring revenue models to build a sustainable business. That's so inspiring. Yeah. And it all starts with finding that niche that truly resonates with you. It does. Speaking of finding your niche, let's take a quick break and when we come back, we'll explore some actionable steps you can take to kickstart your Pinterest affiliate marketing journey. Sounds good. All right, so we're back and ready to dive into those actionable steps to get you started with Pinterest affiliate marketing. Okay, let's do it. So where do we even begin? Well, the first crucial step is identifying your niche. Right. Remember, it's all about finding that intersection between your passions and a market. Um, actively searching for solutions. Okay, so let's say someone's passionate about I don't know, sustainable living. Sure. What would be their next step? That's a fantastic example. Yeah. For someone passionate about sustainable living, the next step would be to research affiliate programs that align with that niche. Okay. Think eco-friendly products, sustainable fashion brands, or even companies offering green energy solutions. So it's about finding products or services that genuinely fit their interests. Exactly. And where would they go to find these affiliate programs? Well, there are a few avenues they could explore. Yeah. Our sources mentioned uh, popular platforms like ClickBank, Amazon Associates, and Impact.com. Right which offer a wide range of programs across various niches. Those names keep popping up. They do. But what about something more niche specific, like in our sustainable living example? That's where a little extra digging comes in. Okay. Many companies, especially in uh, specialized niches, run their own affiliate programs. Oh, okay. A quick search online for sustainable living affiliate programs would likely yield some great results. That's a helpful tip. Yeah. So once they've found their niche and some potential affiliate programs, what's next? Setting up a Pinterest business account is the next critical step. Okay. Don't worry. It's a straightforward process. Good. Yeah. And several sources mention that if you already have a personal Pinterest account, you can easily convert it to a business account. Oh, okay. That's good to know. I was wondering about that. Oh. Yeah, and once your business account is set up, it's all about optimizing your profile okay. to attract your target audience. Optimizing. Tell me more. Think of it like um, creating a storefront that instantly tells visitors what you're about. Yeah. You know, your profile name and description should clearly convey your niche using relevant keywords. Okay. This will help your profile appear in search results when people search for those specific terms. Ah, so keywords are crucial here. Absolutely. Keywords are the bread and butter of Pinterest search. Yeah. And speaking of keywords, remember Gloeth Gage's tip about using ChatGPT to help craft compelling profile descriptions. Yes. That's a game changer for those who struggle with writing. For sure. AI can be such a helpful tool. It can. So we've got our niche, our affiliate programs, and our optimized Pinterest business account. Yes. Now the fun part, creating content. Exactly. And luckily we have Glowick Dage's uh, top five pin styles right. to guide us towards creating pins that convert. Yes. Those are great tips. Yeah. But I'm not the most visually inclined person. Sure. Is there a way to make creating visually appealing pins uh, easier? Don't worry, Smart Money Tactics has got us covered. Oops. They recommend Canva, a user-friendly design tool that offers pre-made templates perfectly sized for Pinterest. Okay. You can easily customize these templates with your own images, text, and branding. That's a relief. Yeah. 
Canva makes designing feel so much more approachable. It does. And what about writing those catchy descriptions? Well, remember how ChatGPT can help with profile descriptions? Yeah. It can also be a fantastic tool for generating creative and compelling pin descriptions. Oh, wow. This is all starting to feel very doable, even for someone starting from scratch. It is. Yeah. And remember, Smart Money Tactics shared another gem for those without websites. Google Sites. Right. You can leverage this free tool to create simple landing pages that capture leads and promote your affiliate links. So even without a fancy website, we can still drive conversions. That's brilliant. It's all about working smarter, not harder. I like that. And speaking of working smarter, let's move on to the next crucial element, promoting your affiliate links strategically. Okay. Transparency is paramount, as Zoco Marketing highlights. Right. They emphasized being upfront about your affiliate relationships, both in your pin descriptions and on any landing pages you create. Exactly. Building trust with your audience is essential for long-term success. Absolutely. Now, when it comes to showcasing those affiliate links, the popular link in bio method comes into play. Yes. Linktree, which we saw mentioned in several sources, makes it easy to create a landing page with multiple links. And Smart Money Tactics introduced another option direct.me. Oh, right. Which offers similar functionality. It's great to have choices. It is. And remember, for those wanting to explore more advanced strategies down the road, yeah. Zoco Marketing mentioned product tagging and email list building. Okay, cool. Those are excellent tools to level up your affiliate marketing game as you gain experience and confidence. And speaking of confidence, I'm feeling much more confident about this whole Pinterest affiliate marketing thing. Me too, me too. What about you? Absolutely. Seeing how all these pieces fit together is truly inspiring. Yeah. What stands out to me is how Pinterest allows individuals to uh, tap into their passions, right. express their creativity, and build a business on their own terms. I completely agree. It's a powerful platform with incredible potential. It is. And speaking of potential, remember that incredible free guide we mentioned earlier? Yeah. It's packed with valuable information for aspiring affiliate marketers. It is. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Got it. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. So we've covered niche selection, setting up your Pinterest business account, creating compelling content, and promoting your affiliate links. We've done a lot. But what are your key takeaways from all of this? Oh, that's a good question. What resonates most with you? Honestly, it's the accessibility of it all. Okay. You don't need to be a tech whiz or a design guru to succeed with Pinterest affiliate marketing. Right. It's about leveraging the right tools and strategies. Uh-huh. Staying true to your passions. Yeah. And consistently creating valuable content. I love that. And you know, it's not just about the technical aspects. Yeah. What truly struck me was the emphasis our sources placed on the human element. Oh, okay. Building trust. Yeah. Being authentic and genuinely connecting with your audience. You're so right. It's about more than just making a quick sale. It is. It's about building a community around your shared passions. Exactly. And that's what makes Pinterest affiliate marketing so compelling. Yeah, it really is. You know, speaking of making those genuine connections, I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. Oh, okay. The challenge is, you know, we've painted a pretty optimistic picture of Pinterest affiliate marketing. Yeah. But it's not all sunshine and roses, right? You're absolutely right. Like any online venture, Pinterest affiliate marketing requires effort, consistency, and a willingness to learn and adapt. So what are some of the hurdles people might encounter along the way? Well, one common challenge is staying up to date with Pinterest's ever-evolving algorithm and best practices. Right. Yeah, the platform is constantly changing, so it's crucial to stay informed and adapt your strategies accordingly. So it's not a set it and forget it kind of thing. Exactly. And another challenge is standing out in a sea of content. Right. Pinterest is a visually driven platform, so creating high-quality, eye-catching pins that capture attention is uh, essential. So it's not just about churning out content. It's about creating content that truly resonates and stands out from the crowd. Precisely. And this ties back to understanding your audience, their needs, and what visuals appeal to them. It's all about finding that sweet spot between creativity and strategy. Yeah. And speaking of strategy, yeah. what about the time commitment? How much time should someone realistically expect to invest in Pinterest affiliate marketing? 
That's a great question. And honestly, there's no one size fits all answer. Right. It depends on factors like um, your niche, your goals, and how much time you're willing to dedicate. Of course. But consistency is key. Uh -huh. Even dedicating a few hours each week to creating and promoting content can yield significant results over time. So it's about finding a rhythm that works for you and sticking with it. Exactly. And remember, you don't have to go it alone. There are countless resources available to support you on your Pinterest affiliate marketing journey. Yes. And speaking of resources, there's that fantastic free affiliate guide we mentioned earlier. Oh, yeah, that's right. It covers so many of the essential aspects of building a successful affiliate marketing business. It does. Make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, as Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide titled 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Okay. It's over 12,300 words of life-changing information. Wow, that's a lot of information. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email address. Okay. The link for this is in Brian's YouTube bio. Great. So we've explored the ins and outs of Pinterest affiliate marketing, from niche selection to content creation and promotion. We covered a lot. But as we wrap up this deep dive, What's one final thought-provoking question you'd like to leave our listeners with? Hmm, that's a good one. Something to ponder as they embark on their Pinterest affiliate marketing adventure. Let me think about that for a second. Sure. I think I would ask them this. Yeah. What are you truly passionate about that you could share with the world through Pinterest? I love that. It's not just about finding a profitable niche. Right. It's about finding one that genuinely excites you, one that you can't wait to share with others. Exactly. Because when you're passionate about what you're promoting, that enthusiasm shines through. It does. And it's contagious. It really is. So to our amazing listeners, as you dive into the world of Pinterest affiliate marketing, remember to choose a niche that lights you up. Create content that reflects your unique voice and perspective. And most importantly, have fun along the way. It's been an absolute pleasure exploring this exciting world with you. Likewise. And to our incredible listeners, we hope this deep dive has inspired you to unlock the potential of Pinterest affiliate marketing. It has. Now go forth and create those stunning pins. Yes. We can't wait to see what you achieve.